Welcome to Moyer Outdoor Adventures. Today, before we get on the trap line, I'm gonna try to make my own drowners. I was gonna make a rebar one, but I'm not a welder, and my buddy who does it, he didn't have a lot of time. So I saw these, and I did read some reviews. These are the pink ones. See, on the end, it's pink still. These are from Lowe's, and the only thing that was people were saying bad is that there's a lot of fiber that comes off of it, and that is true. So don't touch these without any kind of gloves. But I went ahead and spray painted them uh, green because that's what I have laying around. Then I went out and I ordered uh, the Hags bracket kits. So all you're supposed to be able to do is take these, put these on the end, use a punch in epoxy them or however you want to do it. They are a little big, okay, a little big. So I'm going to have to try to grind them down or sand them to get them on. So stand by and we'll see if we can get that to work. Yesterday we started this project. We took the Lowe's pink fiberglass 10 foot rods and I attached the Hags brackets and I did paint them. This one is still wet. The drowners go up and down really nice. They do slide over. Takes a little bit of work, but you can get them to slide over. Well, I got one hand. There. There it is. So do slide over and all the way down. Made three of them. Gonna get them out in the line. Hopefully this week. We're supposed to get a bunch of snow today, but we didn't get it. So hopefully you see these in action. Thanks for watching. Set day. Uh, a little too shallow here to put that new drowner in. But I put a 330 right there. Caster mount. Camera. Little bay here. The main lodge is around the corner. I don't have a lot of places to set right here because there's a beaver dam not very far from me. In PA law, you have to be off at 15 feet. So it's pretty shallow over here. But we'll give this 330 a go and maybe we'll get something on video. Off to the next set. Again, this place is so hard to set a foothold. I don't have anywhere. It's all either dams. Or places that I can set are like this. It's so, it's not good. It's so flooded. But I put a, a 330 in a run. It looks like back here is the dam behind me. It curls around. I put a 330 right there. Staff me run and I put some uh, Bearded Man candy. It's like a food lure. I smeared it up on top of this. So hopefully my theory is, if it works, that they'll swim around it. When they swim around it, right there on the KB stabilizer, it's a 330. So, we will see. All right, I, I got one of those drowning rods in. It hasn't been easy, but it's right here. It's kind of shallow, but it runs out in the deeper water. I think it's enough. I don't have many good spots, but here it is. Right here, the lock, the trap. Up on the bank is my, my tag. But we'll see in the morning. Set number three in. And the lodge is right over there. And the dam is behind me to my left. We'll see what happens. Hopefully we'll get something. See you tomorrow. Check day with Mr. Hunter. There he is. Hi. Tough getting in here. Pick up the first one. We're gonna kick it out. First one. Slider's air trap was set off, I missed him. See? That stinks. So we climbed up in here on that caster and I missed him. So, one miss. Let's look over here. So, walk out here. Look at this. Here's that, here's our second set. This is uh, that 330 I put in that room with that uh, bearded man lure I put up on top and one came right through there so we have one catch that's awesome we're gonna leave him for a minute it's not a big beaver it's actually a small one so I'm gonna go around and go check the third set and then we'll decide if we're gonna pull or we're gonna reset but we got one so far one set off trap coming up on Third set. It's 
backfired. There's the camera. The camera was not working. But that's where our caster mount is. Mm -hmm. We have one. Number two, this makes the smallest one. Ten. This makes ten. Ten for the year. Awesome. We're gonna pull these out. Come over here. And uh let me get my bag off. My hunter's gonna pull them out. This is he, this is my caster mount. You can see tracks. And this is a suitcase catch. Definitely another smaller beaver. Real small. Uh, kit, I guess they call it. So we're gonna re we're gonna reset. We got small ones. I'm gonna redo this caster. Put that 330 up in there, and go back and reset the other one. So we will show you in a second the reset. Remake is done. This time I went to the camera and I actually turned it on. I don't know, but we did reset it with the caster mount. We use a Mike Whitex caster. I've caught on it before. It's local, works pretty darn good. And we put the 330 back in there. Beaver is number one. It's definitely a kit. Um, off to reset. Reset, this is where we had the first catch. It's a dive stick from yesterday. I don't know where it went. It got washed down. Reset it on a KV of 330 with a bearded man candy lure. I did the same thing. Hopefully to get him swimming around here and it worked. So we reset it. Off to put the foothold back in and redo that casting now. Redid the, the slider. There's the drowner on it. Put a couple rocks on the side of the caster mount and hopefully guide them. Right there is my foothold. A little bit off to the right. Got a stick here to block it on the right. Put some bearded man regular caster lure up on there. And we're good to go, I hope. See you tomorrow for check day two. We'll get you some pictures uh, and weights. We get back back at the house after check day one and hunter has both of the beavers definitely uh kits they're about 25 pounds each this is number nine and number 10 for the year one more check tomorrow so stand by hopefully we have more to show you day two check well this isn't good cast around with my drowning rod my grounding rod is gone. Beaver was definitely on the caster mount. So they pulled my grounding rod because I don't I knew my stake probably wasn't long enough, but I gambled. So I have to get bigger ones made. And it's gone. So I'm gonna walk around if I can find it. Well, our drowner got pulled. My stake. I couldn't find the beaver. And I just found it. He went across the dam. He's still alive. And he's still alive. And he got hooked up here on this. So we're going to have to uh, deal with him and get back to you. But we did find our drowner. He did manage to pull it. Okay, stand by. Okay, hold that. Okay, we dispatched that beaver after that routing drought incident. Go ahead, Hunter. Pull him out. Oh, pull back up. Pull up from the hands. There you go. Get good catch on him. That looks like one of the adults, I think. <sighs> Probably. So, number 11. We had to... We didn't have a firearm, so we had to get find deep water here by the dam and get dispatch him. That's why we're standing on the dam. So... Okay, we're gonna move back to where we were and reset it. And we're gonna put a better anchor in. We're gonna try it again with this rounder. I added a uh, extra stake, like I should have. I wired it onto the primary stake. Really pounded in even better. The rod's back out there. Cast around with the bearded man. Traps are set a little bit to the to the left by the rod. And we will do a day three check. There's definitely one more beaver in there. Here's some pictures of what the beaver are doing. They're coming up from down there, eating all these. They have a huge dam. 
the huge runs coming up crawl outs all the way up through here eating all this stuff old and new they have it flooded all the way to that gas line it's not good that's why we're in here trying to get some of them out of there so we'll go back and weigh some beaver get this guy on the scale zero Forty one. Forty one pounds. Beaver number eleven. Stand by tomorrow for check day three and the possibly the last one of the year. Alright, I just returned from check day three. We had no success. We know there's one beaver in there. We caught one adult and two small ones, but I missed one. So I probably educated it. That's okay. Next year. I'd like to thank everybody for watching our, our uh, first year of trapping on the YouTube channel. We're going to properly do this next year, I hope, and do a little fishing or hunting. So we got 11 beavers in our first year trapping, and we're pretty proud of it. What's my take on the drowners from the lows when you get the pink drowning rods? You can definitely do it, but make sure you get 3 8 when you stake it. I only have a half inch that are long, and I almost lost my set, but I'm definitely having some 3 8 made up. Got a bunch of meat. For next year for trapping coyotes and fox and whatever for baiting some sets so from moyer outdoors i'm signing off hunter's not here because he doesn't feel good he went in the house so god bless and be safe we'll catch you next time